Absolutely. Thanks, Rex. A federal investigation on buying and selling body parts that began in Detroit is now a hot scene in Chicago. Now, sources say they found yet another mess. Hundreds of body parts, not full human bodies here, just parts inside a crematorium. This thing is also expanding, now has ties to Arizona. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner brings us the very latest on this case. The Arizona Attorney General is involved in this case. He says he's also worked as a federal prosecutor and has never seen anything like this. The facts, the circumstances just on the surface seem really deplorable and we understand that there's a lot of victims out there that may be hurting and you know my commitment is to always make sure that victims get justice. Sources confirmed to 7 Action News this latest raid will wrap up a case that's taken more than a year to develop. Boxes and boxes of records seized in Rosemont, north of Chicago, a human body donation business called Biological Resource Center, and in another suburb, Schiller Park, a crematorium with the same owners where investigators find cut up body parts. That's the same thing investigators found 13 months ago here inside a shabby warehouse on Detroit's east side. Body parts of more than a thousand different people, arms, legs, heads, kept on ice, not embalmed, so that they would be fresh for the lucrative black market. Why were you stockpiling hundreds of human body parts here, sir? The owner of this business, Art Rathburn, has not been charged with a crime, but records seized here in his business also took investigators to Arizona and another biological resource center that was raided and shut down a year ago. The case there handled by the feds and the state. We are moving forward. We don't know what will happen ultimately, um, but we take these matters very serious. My sources also working over in Chicago say the raid there does not slow this down, but actually gets them closer to the finish line. An attorney for the owners over in Chicago says his clients are cooperating with investigators. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank